Let's begin our uh, discussion of uh, metering with discussing the two basic types. There's uh, reflected, which is found in cameras because it's easy to measure uh, light from the camera, reflected light. And then there's incident, which is done with a handheld meter, which is uh, used to measure the amount of light that is falling on the subject. The problem with uh, reflected light metering is uh, the light meter only sees gray and the amount of light that's reflected from the subject. So it's trying to resolve everything to a shade of uh, uh, basically gray. I, it, it's a color photograph, but it's trying to resolve everything to a shade of gray. So if you've taken pictures of snow or beach and you see that the snow is light gray or that the beach is light gray, or if you do a black cat, um, the black cat um, will come out as a uh, darker shade of gray and the snow and the beach will come out lighter shades of gray. Incident works great if you're a gray person, gray background, whatever. Uh, other than that, incident might be your better choice, but some people will average between the two. Here we're looking at uh, three subjects that are being metered with uh, reflected light metering, like in the camera. If you notice, we're metering a white plate that meters at uh, 125th at f32, a gray plate at f16 at 125th, and a black plate metered at uh, F8 at 125th. The reason being is the white plate is reflecting a lot more light than the gray plate or the black plate, and thus they're going to meter at uh, different levels. The problem is, is, is the white plate should, re or should meter a lot more light or should reflect a lot more light, and as the gray plate should um, not reflect as uh, much light as the white, and the black plate should uh, reflect the least light of all. But the camera, uh, with its electronics, is trying to assume that the plate might really not be black and the white plate might really not be white. Here are the same three subjects me being metered by incident light or the light falling on this subject. If you notice, the, they're all, they all meter at 1 25th of a second at f16 and the white plate comes out truly white, the uh, gray plate comes out as gray, and the black plate comes out as black. This is because uh, we're not uh, considering the reflectance of the subject, we're considering the light that is falling on the subject. Uh, this goes miles to uh, basically uh, reproduce the tonality of a scene in correct, uh, correct detail, because the incident light meter is not trying to resolve things to grayscale. What it's trying to do is just measure the uh, incoming light. Here we have a handheld light meter that is capable of measuring incident as well as reflected light. This is a Siconic L308S, which is an excellent meter. Uh, first of all, it has something at the top called a lumosphere. You slide the lumosphere over the uh, sensor, and it becomes an incident. Or I mean, it becomes an incident meter. Uh, if you slide the lumosphere off, it becomes a uh, reflected meter. Uh, you have you set the ISO uh, speed, and with the lumosphere on, you put it in the or you hold it in the same light that is uh, reflecting or that is illuminating the subject, and you press the test button and it gives you a corresponding shutter speed and f-stop. You scroll up and down, it will give you uh, the same, uh, you know, different f-stops, different shutter speeds, it's quite the same exposure. And all this is done by uh, setting the ISO speed with the ISO button. Uh, the mode button allows you to uh, um, also use it as a uh, flash meter uh, and whatever. Uh, excellent light meter. And uh, using this, uh, a lot of times will improve your exposures by uh, miles. Um, it's kind of a must-have for serious photography. Those who do not have or cannot afford um, an incident light meter don't be discouraged because you can do the same thing with a spot meter in your digital camera. Basically what you do is you meter on either a, a, a piece of newspaper uh, your hand or an 18% gray card. Um, a, a piece of newspaper with uh, full type with no pictures and a lot of that stuff 
just like uh, like let's say the uh, one ads is pretty much equates to uh, an 18 percent gray card if you meter on your hand um, that is an 18 percent gray card uh, minus you'll have to take away one f stop um, or subtract half the light to arrive at um, uh, a uh, you know an incident reading or um, if you read an 18 percent gray card what you do is you put these uh, items in the light source that is illuminating the subject and uh, spot meter on it making sure it fill, fills the uh, full frame then what you do is uh, you correspondingly look at your subject if it uh, is predominantly dark or predominantly light then what you might want to do is uh, alter your shutter speed or f-stop to uh, um, adjust your exposure to uh, match the uh, dynamic range of your camera with the scene. Uh, but incident light reading is basically uh, ignoring um, the reflectance of the subject and it's concentrating on the light that is falling on the subject. Uh, when you're capable of using incident light meeting, incident light metering, I would highly recommend it because it is truly, um, in many instances, the best way to meter. As I say, a lot of people will incident light meter and then do a reflected light meter and then average the two results. So uh, what you can do is uh, you can come out with a hybrid method that quite often gives you even the best exposure of all. Um, this is a very good tip and is one to write down. Please visit us at www.foto.linq.com. Thanks for watching.